Hi there, this is Min. I've been running into a problem with my editing process, and part of that problem is I've been using everything um, for my video editing on my iPad Pro 11-inch 2018, which has a USB-C port that I'm supposed to be able to transfer things to a portable drive like this. Unfortunately, it is extremely slow. I almost take over 10 minutes to transfer one gig file off of my iPad Pro to a portable hard drive. So I think the problem is with iOS 13, but but you know it may be fixed in iOS 14. I don't know. But I've read somewhere and also see another video that um, you may be able to improve the performance by using a portable SSD drive. So I got one of these. It's a Crucial portable SSD, one terabyte. It's called Port Crucial X8, and it uses a um, USB-C port which can use the cable that connects to the USB-C port to the um, iPad Pro. So I'm gonna give it a try and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so I got my setup ready. I have the Crucial X8 drive and I have a stopwatch and I have my iPad Pro. So the key is, is I wanna demonstrate how slow or how quick the, the drive is relative to a old school um, portable hard drive. So, so since there is no speed test, a uh, hard drive speed test in iPad, I have to use the old fashioned way. Just simply copy a file over from one side to the other. So let's get started. First, I'll open up the um, file app and we'll jump to my iPad and let's connect the drive to my iPad. They, they came with a USB-C cable that is um, USB-C on one side and USB-C and USB-A on the other. So you can actually see that you have a connector that connects this together. So you can plug it into your traditional USB-A connections. So let's connect this up. And let's connect here. Once you connect it up, it takes a little bit of time, but then you should see here in the locations, there it is, the Crucial popped up. So I can go into Crucial, I can see these, the file system there, and I will go to my iPad and find a video that I can transfer over. So let's find a video that's small. Okay, so this one is about 500 megs. So I'll copy this 500 megs file over to my drive. So crucial eight, so move and down to crucial eight and that's it. So I'll start the, cal cal the time one, two, three, start. So one of the things I hate about the file app is that it just, oh. So that took, that took about nine seconds. That's really, really fast. So copy the file back. Let's do that to see how long it take as well. It took about 9.8 seconds. Um, so let's reset that and let's do that again from copy the file into the same file, select, do that, move, and we'll copy it into temp. And let's do one, two, three, go. Less than three seconds. That is fast. So going into it, it takes less than three seconds, it was done. That's super, super fast, 500. 500 megs. So if we go double that, you know, that's a gig. Gig will take twice the amount of time. <clears throat> so now let's try it with this portable hard drive. This is a uh, Lacy, Lacy, less I don't know. This orange portable hard drive, pretty popular. So let's try it out. I even got a special cable that can connect USB-C directly into my 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 iPad Pro so let's get started here okay 
So same thing, we're going to disconnect this one. And we're going to connect this particular hard drive. into connect it into the uh, USB-C port and takes a few minutes it should come up or maybe a few seconds it should come up meanwhile I'll reset the stopwatch okay stopwatch is reset okay there it is all right, the portable hard drive came up and we can click into it. We can see all this stuff and let's try, copy the same file on my iPad and video, video temp. And, okay, this one here, we'll go select, select, move, and we will copy it into this here. One, two, three, go. So one of the things I hate about this is that um, the file app has a spinning wheel here that takes a long, long time. It doesn't tell you the status, but it's a spinning wheel. But already it takes longer to copy over. So a spinning wheel here, there's no way to know the status. But what I found out is that you can actually, instead of clicking cancel, you could click anywhere and then actually click into the file you try to copy and here you can see the uh, the progress of that file you're copying and it is so slow and I don't know why it's so slow I think uh, my I think it's the file system it's how it's treating this drive or the file app sorry the file app is how it is treating the drive and I, I also think it's because this is a mechanical drive it may not get enough power from the USB-C port, then it's probably using a slower protocol, uh, USB protocols to transfer. So it's even though it's USB-C port, USB 3.0, it's probably a connecting at USB 2.0 rate. So that's probably why it's so slow. So it's over a minute and uh, 24 seconds. Um, we'll speed it up and go to the end and see how long. So, okay, so it took us five minutes and 44 seconds to transfer the file out of the iPad to this traditional portable, SS, portable hard drive. So how long will it take us to transfer the file back in? Let's give it a try. Uh, we'll go to grab this file, select the file, we'll clear the reset and we'll move it and we will move it to the temp. And one, two, let's see here. Let's do, let's do two video here. Yep. One, two, three, start. So we'll do the same thing here and go to my iPad and let's go to video. Let's see the file. 15 seconds. So transfer in took us only 15 seconds. For some reason, transfer out takes us a very, very long time. And that's what's driving me nuts about um, using a portable hard drive with an iPad. Uh, so one of the things we also learned is that we learned that on the iPad Pro, the file app, the status indicator isn't accurate. We had it earlier around five minutes. We showed halfway done. But five minutes, 44 seconds, the whole thing was finished transferring out. So don't rely on that. But all in all, I think the 
portable SSD drive, it's pretty well worth it. Um, this not sponsored or anything. I just bought this, giving it a try. So I think it's worth it. I'm going to run around and try to use it on my daily work workflow and see how it works. But if you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. And I hope this video is helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care and have a great day. Bye.